I should preface this tutorial by saying that this tutorial is only my opinion and not necessarily something that is or should be done in every film. If your preferences are more for European or any cinema, you might especially disagree with me here. But I think scripts are more powerful when everything coheres and when everything has a purpose. The famous Russian playwright Anton Chekhov is quoted as saying, remove everything that has no relevance to the story. If you say in the first chapter that there is a rifle hanging on the wall, in the second or third chapter, it absolutely must go off. If it's not going to be fired, it shouldn't be hanging there. Now, for me at least, this idea of tying everything together serves two purposes. For one, it makes the whole story and the accompanying film feel more cohesive and purposeful. But it also makes sure that you're using every opportunity to tell a better story. In the earliest concepts of the assurance, we had Cordea wandering in the wilderness on horseback. I mean, come on, that would look so cool and add a lot to the production value. But as the story progressed, the idea of Cordea riding a horse would make her journey a lot easier, which is not good drama. But even more than that, it's during these times that Cordea is figuring out her destiny and putting the pieces together. And while she could conceivably do that while riding a horse, walking is a lot more conducive to pondering the purpose of life. So, horsey had to go. <laughs> also, in early concepts of the assurance, we had Cordea getting discovered at a market while Teani was shopping. Why at the market? I don't know. That's just the first thing that popped into my head. And we soon realized, like Chekhov said, that everything needs to matter. So instead of this random shopping visit, we figured we'd change that to something that's actually important. We changed this random location to the equivalent of kind of like the Moss Eisley cantina scene in Star Wars. We want to see the world in which these sisters live and see the people and get a feel for their environment. The world in which these women live plays a huge role in both their arcs and in their interactions with each other. We also changed the script from Cordea getting discovered to Cordea doing something that made her discoverable. It's a subtle difference, but it made it so that our characters are the ones driving the story forward, not just random coincidences. Then we added the preacher, so that we could have a figure that represented the religion of this culture. And in the original version of the script, it was obvious their savior would be a little girl. So that gave us the chance to show Cordea processing what the preacher said, which was a solid beat from the original version of the story. Now, there are a lot of very popular filmmakers and filmmaking styles that say that this idea of making everything relevant is ridiculous. These schools of thought suggest that films should be random and have random elements because life is random, and you know, that's totally true. If your sensibilities are more indie, then you might shun this concept. If your sensibilities are more commercial, you'll probably want to embrace it. Now, I should also point out that if this idea of making everything cohere resonates with you, then you might also really enjoy the tutorial later in this chapter on beginnings and endings. Now, even if this concept isn't to your liking, the idea of revising your script to make everything more of the way that you want it, whatever you know, that means to you, is still a good writing habit to get into.